Hello, hello there, everybody. Today is a very, very exciting day because we are starting a new game. Um, I thought we would mix it up a little bit today, take a break from Grounded. Don't worry, we're not giving up on it. We're coming back. Uh, but today we're going to start another series here on the channel and we are going to dive into Raft. Um, Raft is, uh, another game in kind of the general survival crafting, uh, genre. And, uh, this is one that, uh, kind of similar to Grounded, um, had been in early access for a little while. I played it a bit when it was in early access, loved the game, um, and, uh, it relatively recently, um, hit its full release so you can see uh down in the corner there it's in version 1.08 uh because it has had a couple of little bug fix releases since the full release uh but yes version 1.0 approximately um and uh with that uh, main 1.0 update there was a, a big story overhaul um a lot of new features added to the game and uh, with the big updates that have come to this game, they've kind of divided it, at least as far as the, the big story arcs um, in chunks of content have been kind of divided into chapters. Um, so there's chapter one, two, uh, and three is kind of this, this main release. Uh, so I've gone through chapters one and two. They have been modified a little bit, is, is my understanding. Um, but chapter three is going to be all brand new content, and I think that it is the largest of the chapters so far. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's kind of a little bit of the background of the game. Um, and, uh, we are gonna basically jump right in with a, a brand new save. I do have, um, a couple of worlds, actually, that we could hop into and kind of pick up on um and if if you were ever kind of watching me back in my twitch days and who knows those might come back again at some point but uh we we did do some raft there on twitch for a while and i do have that world but um we're gonna start fresh here on youtube so that everybody can um everybody can experience this from the start so we're gonna start a new world uh we're gonna go with normal difficulty um Hard basically makes it so that if I were to die once, uh, the world's over because I'm playing solo, so I don't have a friend to be able to revive me. Um, normal mode is still a little bit harder playing solo um, because uh, normally you can still uh, get revived by a friend and you don't lose anything in your inventory. But since I'm playing solo, I have to just kind of reset to my respawn point when I die and anything that was in my inventory is gone. Whereas if I played easy, um, my inventory would just be kept. Uh, but we're not going easy, we're going normal. Um, and we'll just call this uh, YouTube and we're just gonna keep it solo. And let's create this brand new world here in Raft. All right, so to start out, uh, things are looking pretty bleak. Ooh, I do want to get this barrel real quick. Um, but yeah, we are just on this tiny little two by two uh, planky raft with nothing but this hook on a piece of rope. Uh, so there's, there's really not much that we can do right away other than trying to be uh, you know, doing our part as good citizens of the world and cleaning up the ocean. Um, so we are just going to be scooping up as much stuff with the hook as we can for the moment. Um, hopefully with some better throws than that. It's probably going to take me a minute to get my aim and everything back to what it used to be here in this game. I do really love the, uh, all the art style and everything in this. Like, the water looks 
absolutely beautiful in this. And uh, as you see there, beneath me swimming around is going to be our ever-present companion. And uh, that that shark there will be our our nemesis throughout this journey. Because for whatever reason, he finds raft planks quite tasty. There we go, get a double. So, we do also have a journal here. Um, so this tells us a little bit about our story in the game here. So, we are a forward scout. Number one, your raft is your home, your hook is your friend. If your raft breaks, you patch it up. If your hook is lost, you make another. If you find a, the big blue stretching out forever, that means you aren't paying attention. There's nothing you can't make if you have the right salvage. Follow any radio frequencies. If it's still broadcasting, it's above water. Others have come before you. More will come after you. Be sure to mark the way. The world is gone, but its stories remain. Gather as many as you can. And for Pete's sake, watch out for sharks. So, I think that our, our goal is to try to reunite with our sister. If I remember correctly from... Maybe that was, like, in the game's, like, description of its premise or something. Um, but that is, in addition to just kind of surviving in this world, I think that that is our hope. That in kind of this apocalyptic, uh, flooded world that we are in, um... That we have been separated from our sister and we are trying our best to both kind of figure out what's going on and reunite with her. But for now, just basic survival is the most important part. So you'll notice most of our salvage here is just going to be like planks, plastic, and uh, palm leaves, with then kind of the occasional barrel floating by. Uh, barrels can have, uh, or barrels are crates. Um, barrels can have kind of anything in them, um, but that's where we're getting a bunch of these other supplies in our inventory, um, which is, uh, I believe, going from left to right um, past the plastic there. We have stones, uh, metal scrap, um, then the palm leaves, of course. We've got some rope and a potato. So, if we pull up our inventory here. We, uh, we've got our crafting menu. So, we already have a ton of different things that we can craft. And we'll only be able to expand uh, our crafting recipes. Um, we also do have an island coming up here, but because our raft is extremely primitive, uh, we don't have a way to stop and start. So that's kind of problematic. Uh, so let's go back in here and see what kind of tools we can make real quick. Oh no, especially because our boat's being eaten. Uh, I cannot just punch the shark. I can't hit it with my hook. So we're down to three blanks. That is not good. Uh, so yes, tools. Uh, a building hammer that'll let us actually build things. That is good to make. Um, an axe would let us chop down trees. Uh, we might need a weapon first. Um, a wooden spear. Let's go for that. Um, you're able to kind of quick craft uh, some of the smaller items like this, which in this case I was just quick crafting rope out of palm leaves. Um, I'm gonna run ashore real quick and at least grab that barrel. I don't know how quickly our raft will float away off the side of this. Um, but yeah, we do have a spear now, so if the shark comes, we can we can jab it. Um, 
Uh, but yeah, we can uh, we can hit our uh, our go to our hammer here and pull up our our building menu. So these are all of the different things that we can build onto our raft. Um, so if we wanted to select a standard foundation, we can go ahead and at least replace the part that the shark ate off. And now we're at least back to a 2x2 two two raft, which is kind of the absolute bare minimum that we want to be left with. Um, since it seems to be stuck on the island pretty well for the moment, I am going to hop ashore and see if there's anything interesting. Um, I could pick up flowers, but right now those are just going to fill up my inventory. Um, so we do have these trees. If I still have enough materials to make an axe... Uh, let's see if I can make enough rope. Looks like I can. Uh, I think that might be smart to go ahead and do. Alright, so we got all the tree stuff. We'll just keep circling up the island. And, ooh, yep, that's what I was hoping for. We've got some watermelons up here. Any more? Nope, but we've got a pineapple. Any more pineapple hiding in all these bushes. A raft still there. It is. Okay. Let's knock this tree down. Okay. So those trees, aside from getting us wood planks, uh, we got some coconuts from them because those were uh, palm trees. Uh, eventually, we might come across some other tree types that we would get some other additional um, materials from, aside from just getting wood and um, uh, and palm leaves. <clears throat> all right, well, while we're also stuck here, I'm just going to easily grab some more of these materials that are floating close by the island. You can also just kind of swim out here and pick them up. And it's a little risky for me to go too far out because the shark will come and bite. So he's over there right now. He wants to stay there. I could also take this opportunity to use my hook and dig up Oh, no, he's coming. Oh, he got me. Um, but yeah, there's all this stuff stuck on the bottom of this reef. And a lot of times these islands, uh, you're really wanting to go to them for the stuff under the water more than above the water. Um, but we're so early on, we're not going to worry about that too much. Um really want us to be able to get out of here. Uh, oh, and I know exactly what we need. We need to make a paddle. A sail would be ideal, but we don't have enough palm leaves for it. So we can at least make a quick paddle. Put that down in our hot bar here. And we can use this paddle kind of get ourselves off of this island. Get unhooked a little bit. And I think we'll still bounce off the side. There we go. And now we can get back to floating. This way we can keep... Oh, come on, man. Alright, so yeah, I can start stabbing him. He'll, I think he'll get this piece. Oh, no, he didn't. Um, and that'll, that'll scare him off after whacking him a couple times. Pretty low on plastic, so I'm definitely needing to go for that. I can repair these, um, foundations, uh, as well as building new ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and repair the one that our shark was munching on. Let's see if I can that piece of plastic way out there. Yes! Oh, I should have waited a second longer to get some more of those palm leaves. Alright, well it doesn't look like there's too much immediately by us right now, so let's look at what else we can make. 
Eventually, we're going to need food and water. We're not doing so hot on food and water right now. Um, so if we go to kind of our food and water tab, you can see we can make a water purifier, because obviously you don't want to be just drinking salt water, and a simple grill. It looks like the grill we can actually already make. Um, we just needed some more rope there. And the water, the water purifier, we'll check out here in a second. I just wanted to try to get some of this plastic while it's nearish by, knowing that that's what we are lowest on. All right, we'll check it out real quick. Okay, the water purifier we can also make, and then we will lastly need a cup to be able to scoop the water up and move it around from the ocean to the water purifier and then the water purifier into our mouths. How did I miss every single thing there? All right, come on. Come on, yeah. Alright, I think that should be enough now. So, if we come back here, empty cup, craft. Okay, so we want to place our water purifier and our grill. I'm kind of putting it between a couple of planks right now, or a couple of foundation pieces, and that way I um, <coughs> do not lose it if the shark comes and grabs it. Now I am starting to already dehydrate, um, so I'm going to quickly get water going in there and then keep on working while that purifies. I could get a very small amount of water from just eating, um, I think, either the potato or more likely the beet. Um, but it would be pretty negligible. So, and it's going to be, and I'll get much more food out of those items if I can cook them. All right, so it looks like my water is done. We'll fill that. We will drink it. And our water is filling up. We do have to make sure we're putting planks in here to, to power this, because we're basically, we're evaporating the seawater. Um, it condenses on... Whoa, that's a whale. Um, it condenses on the leaf, and then the fresh water drips into this other cup here. So that's kind of the how that's supposed to be working here. But we need the fire to make the water evaporate, so we have to keep putting planks on there. Um, oh, I did have a coconut and a watermelon. Those would also have, have worked to help uh, satisfy our thirst. Uh, I think for now, we might cook a potato... And that will help with our hunger as well. And also get another drink of water just to help pop that off. And basically, I'm going to try to always have uh, purified water ready. That way if I get thirsty, it's not a problem. There we go. Scare Mr. Shark off. I'm okay with leaving that at 90% for now. So one thing I also need to be cognizant of is uh, tool health, and I was hoping to say that before my hook broke, but my hook already just broke. So if I go back to tools, we can already craft another plastic hook, thankfully, even though we're still so low on plastic. Um, but that is something you need to be aware of, is that tools do have durability, um, and that is something... That if, uh, if you don't pay attention, it can be a big problem. Like, if I had used up all my plastic, um, then I could really be struggling. So, we, we've now found a couple of blueprints, um, for a receiver and an antenna. 
Uh, we'll get to what those are really for probably in, in a good while, but we'll be finding more blueprints throughout the game, um, and they will help us to build uh, new fancy things. Most of the time, um, we'll be going to, like, islands or other things like that to get blueprints. Um, but those two are kind of given to you pretty early on in the game. Um, just in, after you get, like, enough barrels and stuff. Um, now I do actually see very, very faintly in the distance there another island. It, like, could be nice to be able to stop there, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, for now, we just need to keep stocking up on materials. Because we need a bigger raft. And then we need to keep making some other things for our raft just to make everything a little bit more functional. Oh, I thought he was coming to munch. We're gonna throw another beat on the fire. Ooh, getting lots of waves right now. Oh, and it's raining. Oh, how did I miss that barrel? There we go. And get that plastic too. Whoa, the barrel went flying. And I still missed the plastic. And I still missed the plastic. Okay, that one's not meant to be. It gets a little bit harder to catch things whenever we get big waves like this. Um, okay. We've got a little bit of materials. I'm gonna see if we can... I think we can relatively reasonably expand this out just a touch. Give ourselves a little bit more room. And as far as food goes, uh, these couple of veggies that we're getting are really not going to cut it long term, especially because I have now eaten them all. I know we do have a few, like, fruits in here, um, but let's see, we should drink as well. Um, but again, that's going to be non-renewable for the moment uh, until we can get some gardening set up. But even that's not always the most sustainable process. But luckily, we are in the ocean. So fishing seems like a good idea to me. So that's what we're gonna do. And, of course, the shark is eating right as I'm busy fishing. Well, I did not get there in time. But we did catch a fish. So we can cook up our fish, make sure we have planks on everything. And kind of here at the beginning, we're just going to be, like, rotating, try to snag a couple things with our, our uh, plastic hook. We're going to try to catch a couple fish, and the, the, the beginning of this of this is just kind of like enduring. Um, it gets... it's really easy to get in really bad shape here at the beginning. Trying to balance your food, your water, and just keeping your raft afloat, let alone trying to expand it. Getting new things, making sure you have tools that are healthy um it it gets to be a lot to manage um so 
We're just going to do do our best to kind of keep shifting from one activity to the next. Not getting too distracted with, like, only fishing or only grabbing materials. Um, it, it's got to be a little bit of a mix of everything. Hello there, sea turtles. How are you doing? So, most of the sea creatures in this game that you'll see like that are just for ambiance. But it does help make the ocean feel a bit more alive. Oh, there we go. The rain has stopped. The sea turtles are going away. They must be friends with the shark. Oh, I missed the thing. We're, we're going to try to get that. We're going to try to get that. Oh yeah, that was lots of supplies. That was that was worth canceling the fishing. Ooh, we have another island coming up here that we might be able to stop at. Okay, we can pick up this cooked fish. Ooh, our inventory is getting full. So we might need to start thinking about making some storage. Um, we can help some of this by eating a fish. So you can see that filled our hunger up way more than just eating the cooked veggies. Um, and that's good news. Uh, but let's see. Storage. Right now we can only make uh, plastic boxes. Um, so we'll make one of these. And, um, I guess we'll put that right there. And just get back to this real quick to hopefully replace our plastic. Oh, I'm so bad. Alright, I think that one might be a lost cause. Yep, okay. Oh, man. So, yeah, we are definitely very close to this island, as you can see kind of below me there. And I missed it. Uh, we're already kind of coming up over the reef. Go ahead and eat this fish as well. Um, but, yeah, we can open up this storage, and I might throw the blueprints in here. Uh, we actually don't have anything to be able to cook this fish on because it's too big. Um, we don't have anything to plant watermelon seeds in. Anything else? Um, you know what? I don't think we are going to stop here just yet. Hmm. We could make a quick anchor and stop, but I think for now we just keep moving. I think just keeping on catching supplies like this is going to be our better way to keep moving. So we're going to get more just like wood and stuff on an island. And if anything, we need plastic. barrel as well. Oh, just too far away. Need to get a drink here before too long. I don't know how I missed that one. I guess the barrel was just a little closer than I thought. Where is my hook going? <laughs> Alright, I don't know what's going on there. 
Um, okay. Yeah, we're... I think we're good to hold on to the rest of this stuff for now. We at least cleared out some inventory space. So we're doing much better. Let's grab our cup. Drink some water. And get some more purifying. Very good. Okay. So... At some point, we definitely want to make a sail so that we can control where we're going. And it looks like we can actually make one already, since that doesn't take plastic. Might go ahead and do that, just so that we have those resources kind of accounted for. And hopefully I don't regret that decision. And why is, like, this side of the raft so hard to grab resources from? Don't know what's going on with that. Okay. So, we'll be able to put a sail down here pretty soon. <laughs> we don't really have the space to put it down is really our problem. We're getting, we're getting a little bit better with our, our amount of plastic here. Make this a little wider. Okay. What else do we need? At some point, having a throwable anchor would not be a bad idea. Um, uh, come here, plastic. Come here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Um, and then, what else? That's all decorative. Research table. That's what I'm looking for. So, this is how we can learn new things to craft. So we definitely need that here pretty soon. Um, once I snag maybe a couple of these barrels right here, we can reorganize the raft just a touch and try to fit some of this stuff on. Um, all right, I will drink that. Okay, research instead of potato. Um, we'll just stick that there. All right, let's see what we can research. Can we research a coconut? No. How about a watermelon? How about a pineapple? I didn't think any of that. Okay, we can research clay, which means we can learn a bowl. Can we research wood? Yes. Can we research a rock? Yes. Can we research rope? Yes. And that. And nope. Nope. We already did that. About plastic. About scrap. Okay. I think that's everything that we can research for now. Can we research a cup? No. Alright. We can learn. Oh, nope. No, you don't. Also. Come back, Barrel! Oh, yeah, barely got it. And we're gonna fix that a little bit. Okay. Uh, back to our research. Um, Alright, we can learn the growing thing. We can learn a bucket. We can learn paint. We can learn basic arrows. Um, Alright, that looks like about all that we can learn for now. Okay. Uh, if I hold all of this excellent egg in, uh, we are going to pick this chest up. I'm curious. Yes, it does. I can actually fit that under our research bench. 
Um, okay. We also got a decoration package, which I can open up, and that's another way to learn things. So we just learned, um, a fancier table that we can build. So, that's just kind of a fun thing. Um, oh, I'm breaking my rule, and we don't have water cooking. Uh, I'm gonna move our grill right there. And then we're gonna... Oh, our hook broke. Tools, hook, raft. Um, so what we see floating away there is like a ruined raft. Uh, we could like have s tried to swim out to it or steer our raft over to it and it would have some materials on it. Um, because I don't have like the sail on or an anchor, um, it would have been a little bit risky. So I didn't want to worry about that just yet. Um... I have to have multiple planks? Interesting. Okay, then we're just gonna go ahead and move this. I was trying to make sure I was being efficient with my planks. But, there we go. Get some water going there. And now, we should actually have some room to put a sail down. Right about there. Oh, <gasps> jellyfish! That's cool. I actually didn't know that those were in the game as a little sea creature. But then we can actually open our sail and, like, steer it a little bit so that we can have some control over where we're going instead of just being totally at... up to the whims of the current. Now we can use the current and the wind. So now if we see islands, we can actually, like, use the sail to get over to them. Um, oh, I did, I did one of the bad things. And we don't have food at the moment. Also... We, oh, okay. Normally, you have to research a blueprint, I think. Um, with at least those, we don't have to. Um, let's see. We're going to eat our pineapple. And then fish. Is she going to calm down now? would be nice. Any fishies. There we go. Give me that barrel, too. Okay. We're gonna throw that there, and we're gonna try to get a couple more fish, because that herring won't fill us up very much. Like, the least filling fish, I'm pretty sure. Unless the palm fritz works, I actually don't remember. Yeah, I thought you had that look in your eye. Alright, so... What was the other thing? Yes, uh, we wanted to make an anchor. I'm gonna go ahead and craft one, but I'm not gonna put it on yet, just because I don't know if we're gonna keep expanding the boat very much or not. Um, but that way, if we ever do need to stop, we've got an anchor I can place down. Uh, the throwable anchor that we have unlocked right now and that I just crafted is like a one-time use anchor. Eventually, we can make much better anchors. Um, but as of now, that's that's all we got. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Anything else fun that we should make? Uh, can we make a lantern? I would not mind doing that, actually. Alright, there we go. Now we can actually see on our raft a little bit, even though it's nighttime. Luckily, fire does not spread or anything, so even though this is, like, right on our sail, it will not catch the boat on fire. I think I'm going to store my veggies just so that we can potentially start a little garden with them at some point. We'll see. I think we also might want to make an extra spear, because if you look at this one, uh, down here in the hot bar, its health is getting real low, and I don't want to be in the middle of taking the shark out and have the, have the spear break on us. I'm dehydrating myself again. So, like, I feel like this has actually been my most successful start <laughs> on Raft ever. And, I mean, like, I would kind of hope that would be the case, since I've probably started Raft five times, maybe more. So, I would hope that I would have learned and managed my time and energy a little bit better each time. But I still manage to let myself, like, start to dehydrate or start to starve. This is... those are kinds of things that, like, playing co-op in this game can make it also so much easier. Because you can have one person in the beginning... whoa, those are some big waves. Um dedicated to resource gathering and another person just worrying about like making sure we always have food and water at the ready um and kind of build up a stockpile and uh that's uh that's a nice a nice thing especially in the early game where things are just really chaotic um or can be really chaotic again oh i think the shark's coming for a visit Yep, see, I knew that that was going to happen. It broke in the middle of having to fight him. There we go. Much more level Cs. Alright, so we do have an island way out there. I can only really see it even if I turn my screen this way. If I try to look at it, it disappears. Um, just a little quirk of the rendering. Um, and I think we actually have another one right out there. It's the same kind of thing right above my hook right now. Um, I don't know that we're going to aim for either of those. I think they're so far out of the way that we're, we would have a lot of trouble trying to make it there. I am hoping we can actually visit an island this in-game day. Um, but for now... I think that this is looking decent for our raft. Um, the last thing that could be ideal to get 
would just be a simple bed. Um, so we need nails for this one. Uh, and just to show you, nails just require scrap. So we do have a decent amount of scrap that we've just been collecting from barrels. Uh, and you make three scrap, or sorry, you make three nails from two scrap. That's worth it to me. Because I believe that's all we needed for the bed. So we're going to go ahead and make a bed. And we can rotate it. We're just going to place it right there. If you notice, I'm trying to keep basically a buffer um, around anything that I'm building. Um, and that way, if the shark does actually destroy any of these planks here, uh, we are not, um, we're not in trouble. So, um, now I'm looking at my status bars. I'm seeing that I'm not in great shape. So we are going to take care of that. And I am out of easily cookable food. So we're going to go fishing. But yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of one of those survival games where like even when things get hectic, just because it's like, you know, we're just nicely sailing along in the ocean. I love the art style. The music is lovely. Like, even the stressful times are strangely relaxing. So, oh, well, there's another salmon that I can't use. That's another trick that what I just did right there. While you're fishing, you can at least pick stuff up that's floating by uh, by hand. Um, you obviously can't use your hook while you're also using your fishing rod, but just grabbing stuff by hand is at least a way to kind of um, multitask a little bit. Uh, I think I may as well keep fishing for now. We're not getting tons of... Tons of stuff to collect. And, uh, we are still a little bit low on food. Oh, fishing bait. I was curious what this meant. Well, we don't have any of those fancy baits, so we're just going to keep using our boring hook. Alright, well we got our mackerel, but our fishing pole broke. Alright, there's some more materials. Good, good, good. Oh, right, all right, it's still cooking. We just ran out of firewood. Ooh, it looks like we're actually headed toward one of those kind of um, abandoned rafts. So we'll actually be able to stop on that this time. Uh, our shark here is looking a little bit more scratched up. And so, I think that we have nearly killed him. It is the same shark that has been circling us, by the way. It's not like that, um, that changes. It is one shark, continuously. Um, uh, just, or we do hit that raft. Um, and, uh, so all the damage you do to that shark does add up over time. Um... So, I think we will probably take him out pretty soon. And we'll be able to harvest him for some shark meat. That way.
Oh, I'm hungry. There we throw one of those down. Alright, so we're just really quickly gonna run over here, hop in, run up to the top here, and we're gonna grab this crate, and then we're gonna get back to our boat before both the shark gets us and our boat sails away. That was pretty successful. All right, so we got, it looks like a bunch of plastic and stuff from that. Uh, ooh, we got a hinge. We'll have to go research that. And we got a decoration package. So let's see what we got this time. We got a painting. Not as exciting, honestly. Uh, but the hinge is good. Let's research the hinge. Uh, doesn't look like we can actually, oh, nope, we can make, ooh, that's good. Uh, we can make nicer chests with that. So right now we don't have a way to produce hinges ourselves. Um, but if we either find more hinges, uh, like we just did, uh, cause that does, researching does consume one item of whatever you're researching. Um, so do be aware of that. Um, but, uh, if we do find more hinges like that, we can actually make a much nicer wooden chest as opposed to these um, little plastic storage that I've got hiding under our research table. And uh, that'll be really nice. Uh, one other little sailing trick. Um, I don't want that. Uh, can, I, can I pour that out, please? Thank you. Uh, let's see. That, and then we'll put that in there. Cool, I'll take that mackerel, put a new one on, and munch. Uh, one other sailing trick is that you can make a streamer and put it on your raft somewhere where it is allowed, and it will show you which way the wind is going. Um, that way you can uh, take advantage of the wind with your sail to the, um, just the, the best that you can. Uh, you also then know, like, okay, it's coming, like, straight at me right now. If I were to point my sail that way, uh, it, I'm not gonna go anywhere because the wind isn't blowing into my sail. But if I put my sail this way, <clears throat> I will move the fastest that I can, uh, with the wind because I'm traveling exactly with the wind at my back. And we'll be going perfectly that way, so. Um, but, ooh, we do see an island right up there. So, instead, what we're gonna do is angle actually a little bit past the island that way, knowing that the ocean is trying to push us more to the left. And that the wind is <clears throat> moving a little bit more to the left as well. So, hopefully, we can kind of counteract those... And I think that we're moving roughly at the island. No! You bad shark! Uh-oh. He won that round. Okay. Let's see, what do we need now? Um, I do need a new fishing pole. Uh, because that did break on us. Takes a lot of rope. Um, I might need to push this a little bit more that way, and I don't think I can get any of those barrels, which hurts a bit, but maybe we can hit this one. Yeah. Ooh, and we got another decoration package. Another painting, come on. Uh, so I don't foresee the raft getting any, uh, any bigger. So we're just going to attach our anchor right there so that it will be ready to go. And I 
think we're gonna wait to sleep until we pull up to the island here. And I might... Whoops. Might do just, uh, try to catch one more fish. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up and throw it. And that should stop the boat. I'm gonna lie down for the night. Now, that does, uh, as you can see, I am now, like, dehydrating to death. Um, when you sleep, you still get more hungry and more thirsty. So the reason I wanted to grab another fish there is uh, I knew that my hunger would drain, so I would want to eat that fish right away. And, oh, that shark was ready for me. <clears throat> Um, so I wanted to be able to basically replace it. Um, now this is kind of funny. Um, we have reached an island that is the exact same island design as the first island and only other island that we visited. Um, this is almost certainly not the same island. Um, uh, like Grounded, this game is not, um procedurally generated, kind of, um, instead, it, it randomly places islands in the world, but the islands are designed by the developers, um, and then it'll randomly choose which islands it will put near you. So, we just got random luck that the next island that we happen to be able to land at is the same design as the first, so that's kind of a bummer, but... Get out! Yeah! Not this time! Um, okay. I accidentally this time grabbed a black flower, but we cannot research it. Okay. Did I get anything else new? I don't think so. Uh, we can put the flower in storage. Uh, we do have more of those that can go in storage as well. Okay. So, as I was saying, the shark, he looks to be almost toast. Kind of like my hook. Um, so, we're actually going to try to take him on. And one trick, oh, that I failed at right there, is when the shark is coming at you, right Man, I'm doing a terrible job demonstrating. We're gonna give it a go. Right when he opens his mouth, if you try to stab him, he should... Oh, okay. Uh, he should, like, not bite you. But, right there I was able to stab him and that was the killing blow. So, the shark will not bother us for now until we get a new shark. Um... I believe we have something like three minutes before a new shark will come and find us. So we're going to try to gather as many resources here on this reef as we can in that time period. And uh, then I think that that'll be probably about it for our little intro to raft. So, there's all kinds of stuff down here. Um, we've been getting sand, all of this, like, metal bits. Uh, this is all just scrap. It'll There's a ton of different looks to the scrap, but dark clumps like this are clay. Similar-looking light clumps like this are sand. Uh, up top, you can see my oxygen depleting like that in the little half-circle shape. Um, so, yeah, this is the sand in kind of those lighter clumps. Uh, we definitely need clay and sand. That's kind of my top priority right now. The other thing is this stuff. We have kind of these bluish rocks. And what I'm less concerned about right now is there are some kind of brownish rocks also. Um, and uh, the bluish ones are iron and the brownish ones are copper. 
and uh, all of those different resources become very, very important as we try to progress, make more materials. Um, let's see, how much do we have right now? We have six and seven. I think we need something like 11 and 11 to really do what I want to do. surface real quick. And we're gonna eat a bunch of watermelon. Food where it has a bar under it that kind of looks like a health bar. Um, that is food that takes um, multiple bites to eat the whole thing. Um, so actually the salmon that I was catching, um, once you cook it and everything and then are ready to eat it, um, it would have that kind of a, uh, progress bar, uh, under it as well. It, it would serve you for multiple, uh, meals in a sense. Uh, we do want to dive back down here and try to get that clay. Hopefully we still have some time. Also have a giant clam right there. Other clay. Don't see any. I'll pick, keep picking up the sand. It can't hurt. Oh, and we do have another resource right here, which is algae or seaweed. Not algae. So when the bar like that runs out your oxygen bar, it is not an insta death. That is different from, let's say, grounded that we're also playing. Um, where in Grounded, as soon as your, like, oxygen timer is d done, you're dead. Um, in this game, it's just when you start taking damage. So, if you just want to tank some damage, you can go a little bit longer. But you don't have a huge health bar, so I would not recommend tanking it too much. Uh, we're gonna grab a bit more of this seaweed and try to- oh, nope, 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 we need to breathe. Might try to grab a couple more of these... ...iron... ...or metal ore. I guess it doesn't specifically say iron. Grab that metal ore, and I think we should be good to head back to the boat. To the raft, I should say. You know, it is the name of the game. And our raft certainly does not qualify as a boat yet. And as you can see, we do already have a new shark friend. So I think as our last order of business, uh, we should research as much as we can here. Um, we'll deal with this next time. Um, okay, so we can't research that ore can research the clam, uh, the seaweed, oh, what else is new? I think we've already done clay and sand, uh, we did do sand, right? Uh, we can't research sand, okay. Um, is that everything new? I think that is, because otherwise it was just scrap down there. Uh, we got the seaweed, um, Cool. So that at least allowed us to learn the bird's nest, so the seagulls that you've been hearing squawking above, um, we could give them a place to roost if we so desire. Um, I think that that might be it for today. So, uh, you know, that is pretty darn good progress for just one little outing here in Raft. Uh, we've got a respectable-sized raft right here. We've killed the shark already once, and uh, we at least have the essentials for survival with our little grill, our water distillery or desalination thing, um, a little bit of storage, our research station, and, uh, and already got a nice sail to get around. So... Um, honestly, this is way more progress than I thought that we were going to be able to, to get done today. 
Um, so this is uh, this is really good. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys are, are liking the new series. Um, if you guys do enjoy it, I will definitely be sure to continue. And, uh, and again, don't worry, I will be back with more Grounded on Tuesday like normal. Um, I'm probably going to be just alternating uh, between the two for a little while. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to introduce something new in the mix. So, um, yeah, if you want to be able to catch the next episode here of our Raft playthrough or want to see some Grounded survival as well, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel with notifications on. And uh, I will see you in the next episode. See ya.